Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to Outer Wilds tonight. Um, stretching my memory a bit as far as remembering, like, what we can do now. <laughs> so I'm probably going to be referring to our ship computer a lot to, uh, to see what remains to be explored here. Um, we've got those quantum signals to chase down, I think. Um... We'll have to figure out what to do with that warp core on the, the alien vessel there. Um, I think we need to go to the White Hole Station for that, maybe. I don't, I don't remember, but let's see what we got. Let's see what's mapped out for us. Because we learned about the Dark Ramble Seeds. Um, yeah, we knew about the harmonica bits already. That's right. We were trying to figure out how to get underneath Giant's Deep there. Um, we haven't gotten to the Southern Observatory yet, did we? Myrtle Hollow, South Pole... Uh, oh no, wait, we did, but we didn't learn about very much of it, did we? Uh, it's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere, yeah, okay. And then there was this about the ocean currents, blah blah blah. We tried to consult the construction yard again, which didn't have anything new. Um, Gabber's the only one that's where we're in a loop, besides us, of course. Uh, apparently there's still some stuff in Sunless City we can track down. And there's more to look at in the vessel itself, which I think is just in Dark Bramble, right? We can, we can find that pretty easily, I think. Um, plus, we've got, yeah, we can mark it on the map, too, so that's nice. Uh, <laughs> so where to start? Um, let's do, 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 do... Let's go back to the Southern Observatory, if we can. Um, let's start with, uh, I guess it'll be Brittle Hollow. Uh, South Pole, right? Must be. South Pole. South Pole. Brittle Hollow. Okay. Suit up. Let's go. Oh, I also need to do this. Oh, right. We learned how to meditate until the next loop as well, which is a funny way to, in-universe, uh, just proceed to the next one. Uh, this one here. Okay. Uh, Brittle Hollow, Brittle Hollow, Brittle Hollow. There you are. Um, there, I think. Yeah. That's right, we gotta get there fast before we, uh, before autopilot takes us directly back into Timber Arm. There we go. Brittle Hollow and then the South Pole. We might, I think we can just dip underneath the crust, right? That's what I've always done. So there's a large enough gap next to the gravity cannon, I want to say, or whatever this is, right? Oh, the crash vessel, right? Okay. I think we can get in there. So let's do that. Okay, well, close enough. Alright, now, as far as where the heck the thing actually is, I think it's on the opposite side. Or no, maybe it's here. Oh no, that's the um, that's the Black Hole Forge, which, honestly, I want to go back there at some point, too. Oh, right here is probably this. It's probably that bit right there. So I need to um, land. Let's land <laughs> here <laughs> and eventually this will fall apart and then my ship goes into the black hole but that's all right um stable enough on this platform here for me to make a quick exit yeah good. okay all right and then i think i just need to jump my butt over to there maybe <laughs> Fucking maybe. I don't I don't actually know. Um, I'm gonna try it and see where it leads. There. Oh wait, that's not even near the South Pole. Oh, this just goes to Rebex Camp. Or whoever's camp this is. I don't who was the one with the oh, yeah, it was Rebex. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um Singing City. Uh Fresh Space. Yeah, we knew that. Um I learned something. I found the vessel. 
Uh, really, we're from far outside our solar system. Yep, okay. Any questions? Why did they come here? They look for the Ivy Universe, right? Um, I don't know, I really I can't see them. Okay, thanks for telling you. Okay, uh, I learned something else, I think. I saw the old settlement? Yeah, I guess. Um, I learned something. I saw the Hanging City. Um, I think we've gone through this tree, right? Uh, I learned something. I saw the Sunless City. Um... Where should I explore here? Um, yeah, Hanging City, right. Southern Observatory. You can't get into this from the surface. Blah, 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 blah. It's probably a path to it beneath the crust. Good luck with exploring. I love that here. Okay, alright, cool. Uh, uh, never mind, sorry. Yeah, we did all that. Uh, see you later. Okay, South Pole, which is this way. <laughs> this away, this away, this away. Um,. It would almost have to be. Let's just kind of jump back to where we were. I think our ship has already sailed into the black hole. Uh, maybe. I don't. I don't know where our ship went. It's gone. <laughs> well, it probably blew up. Actually, that's why it's no longer on our map. But that's all right. Uh, we don't need our ship. We can uh, get to where we need to go without it. Um, hmm. Damn, that little, uh, little thing was really my only option. Alright. Ah. Alright, uh. Trying to look towards the South Pole, right? See if there's. thing to get in there? It doesn't look like there is. So that wasn't it there, right? That's where I came from. Is that where I came from? I actually don't know if that's where I came from. Oh no, that's the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, which actually very important. I should go over there. Let's see if there's another way up. Um, so isn't there something? Oh yeah, because there was a thing up top. But I wasn't able to actually get into the tower itself. That was the deal, right? Because this gravity plating's busted and there's no way in from above. Or so I thought I had seen. That sounded like a big boom. Okay. Um, so was there another... method of getting in there, perhaps? Uh, okay. Yeah, there's gotta be, like, another... There's gotta be another way in. We'll leave the scout there for now. I, there's got to be another entrance. I mean, alternatively, on the next loop, maybe I can just fly my ship right in there. That would be something, huh? I would have to start from below, obviously, but that might be a thing I need to do anyways. <laughs> It'll take some careful piloting, and I'm definitely a careful pilot. I am not a careful pilot. All right. Something to something to think about for next loop, I guess. It's like here's the here's the top of the tower, but I can't do anything about it. That's kind of the problem here. Really, my only option then is to pilot in from below, which is a little silly, 
That's probably not the intended way to do it, but I think that might be the method I pick. Uh, okay, yeah, they were talking about the trees moving and then the, the quantum tower thing, right? Um, and well, I am currently lacking my ship, so I'm not going to be able to, to go anywhere anyways, so I may as well just maybe head to the White Hole Station? That might just be the the early end to this particular loop. The other option is to try to... Okay, see there, I see a little thing up there. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, bonk. <laughs> Okay, well, we're sort of to the... All right, I th okay, this is where I got before, but then I was just like, there was nowhere to go. There was nowhere to go from here, because I, I got lost. I got lost. Um, and then I... I think I had spied one of the little elevator beam things, and I tried to get to it, but then I couldn't. And then I fell into the black hole, and then I think I suffocated in space, so... You know, that's how that goes. Oh, right, I think I was trying to get over... No, that's where I came from. It's pretty much just right above me, but how do I, do I get up there? It's this way. It's in that grouping of ice. Like, right there. But I don't... I think I have a means to to get up there. This is kind of where the light path ends. Oh wait, these are gravity bits here. Oh well, duh. Oh, ghost matter. Um, photo mode. Blip. Yeah, all around. Okay, can I just um just very carefully. Go up and around without touching the ghost matter. Okay, I think we're safe. Alright, then up and in. Okay, let's run. This loop was not a waste. Made it to where we wanted to be. I think. And with enough fuel to spare that it seems that we'll actually be able to get up there. Ugh. careful about this now. Oh, wait, there's something I saw like a little shiny bit down there. What was that? Oh, I think it's just another set of gravity bits leading out. Alright, uh, okay, let's get back up there. Should be a pretty easy blast to get up there. There. Alright. Made it. Let's learn everything. <laughs> learn everything before the uh, loop expires and probably looks like 7 8 minutes. Okay. What do we got? Uh, construction yard been using the cyclones and trying to lift the orbital probe cannon parts into orbit. One component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. So one of the cyclones, maybe. It's not clear there are two different types of cyclone. Hey, look at that. Uh, well, cyclones in general rotate clockwise. The other cyclones typically used to send components into orbit. There's a rarer type that spins counterclockwise and pushes objects beneath the waves. All right, cool. Uh, that's good info to have. Hey, game over. How you doing? Good to see you. All right, so there's the clockwise one, and there's the counterclockwise one. So counterclockwise will push us below the surface. Excellent. We have learned important information.
important information gained on what was initially probably a throwaway loop here. Um, uh, there's lifting orbital program, one, one somehow sank beneath, yep. Uh, try to recreate it, the cannon parts, but blah blah blah, we don't know. Uh, interesting question, we've got a model of it. Reveals how it does, yeah, huh, I'm able to grasp the answer by looking at the projected pole if I visit the other, okay. Uh, if you don't mind the track of the South Pole, you deleted the two trailheads, one at Brittle's Hollow Gravity Cannon and one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. And the one we used, which, uh... I suppose we figured out eventually. Uh, alright. Let's look at the actual bits here now. Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, some stuff below the surface of Giant's Deep. Well, actually no. This is the construction yard. Right, so we saw the opposite bit of this from the other side. Yes, 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 okay. Uh, all right. Well, while we're still here and while we still have time in this loop, let's see if there's anything more. Including if there's a way in from outside or was this busted? Ship down safely. You didn't... <laughs> any landing you can walk away from, right? Minor repairs. Huh. Okay, it's good news, bad news is I can find a way. The door is broken. Okay, yeah, that's... I think we did learn about that. Um, but otherwise, this is, yeah, up near the surface of the South Pole. Alright. Okay. Um... Is there anything else? Okay, there's another, there's a stairway up to a second level here. Let's take that. A whole bunch of interactables. Alright, what do we have here? That's the... Are we rotating something? Oh, we're probably rotating the observatory to... To see what we can see. Oh, a readable bit, though. Let's get that before we move on. What have we learned thus far in our search for the Eye of the Universe? Those of us in the vessel originally followed the eye signal to the star system, unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the outer rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here. Unable to detect any trace of the eye signal. I stopped emitting, maybe. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found, which is legit. Uh, he's just there to call this out. Yeah, okay. Not really accidental, pretty much. Um, blah, 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 no closer to finding it than when he first arrived here. It's our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around the star system's sun. Does it mean the eye is located within <laughs> a finite but enormous range? Okay. Alright, good to know, good to know. Mm. Oh, got another wall over here. Not sure our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe. We know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon, so what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. We need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape, blah blah blah. Yep. Giant's Deep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would, well, furthest besides uh, Dark Bramble, I guess. Be a good choice. Um, it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is there. Put the cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep, so they did. Uh, we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for the exact purpose. We should discontinue the search method. Oh, downer there. And uh, kind of, we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. Hmm, something something technology being developed. Okay. want to land on top of this. Oh, no, not going to do that. So it was rotating. I don't know what it, what those controller bits were doing. So we can trigger a couple more and observe something. Hmm. Alright, so what's the... What's the symbol here? What are these symbols? They're different, uh, 
Okay, that's Timber Hearth, probably. Oh, I see. It's putting the, the stuff into place here on the model, on the little star system model they got going. That's Giant's Deep. Ooh, yep, yeah, Okay. We'll that's probably Dark Bramble. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And this is probably... Uh... Oh, that's probably supposed to be the their plotting of the eyes course. <laughs> okay, well that's not terribly useful to me. Oh, but it had activated something else over here. This thing was on. Oh, there we go. Uh, unable to determine orbit. No signal detected matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe. Okay. That's why that... That's why that thing spun up there. Hmm. Okay. Does this... Does this tell me anything new? I mean, aside from the cyclone rotation bit, which we'll use in the next loop here. Is there anything else of value here? Hmm. That's a very interesting star map they got going on, though. Oh, right, we have to figure out how to explore more of the comet as well. There was one time when it was, uh, melting down, but I didn't figure out how to do that. <laughs> didn't figure out how to exploit it for realsies. Um, okay, well, sun's about three minutes from supernova anyway, so it's not like we're gonna be losing any time. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I'm glad we were finally able to get in here. What did they say? It was counterclockwise, right? Counterclockwise ones, uh, push down into the depths. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think that's this area, uh, kind of done and dusted, so we may as well just, uh, go for it. Breathe in, breathe out, get vaporized, wake up again. eventually get to the center of Ash Twin where these uh, memory statues are. But unattainable for the moment. Okay, so two giants deep we go. Down below the surface, learn a few things. And then proceed from there, I suppose. Okay. Yep. Tornado simulation, we got that. I pointed back to the orbital probe cannon. Um, but it does complete those two. Uh, okay. Counterclockwise, then. Counterclockwise, let's go. Whoosh. Right, yes, we can also check out the quantum signal when we get below the surface, too. And all the rest of them on the other other planets that we haven't sorted yet. Okay, Giant Steve, where are you? You are there. Alright, so a counterclockwise, counterclockwise cycle. Best observed from, well, in the atmosphere, but above uh, the cyclones themselves. Ooh, coming in sort of hot there. All right, fine. Uh, clockwise, clockwise, clockwise. Uh, clockwise, 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 counterclockwise, this one here. Alright, buddy, take me down. Whee! 
Right here. I think. Oh, oh zippy zap. Uh, okay. Still apparently impenetrable. <laughs> Alright, let's go go fix the electricals. <laughs> uh. Alright, so we can't just go right to the core. Can't go right to the core. Unassailable. But... There now might be a few things to look at. Maybe there's a a gap in the little electrical field too. Oh, alternatively, we learned that the jellyfish guts and stuff were good for electrical insulation, right? So maybe there's a way to go grab that stuff, put it on the ship, and uh Oh, or we can just accost these jellyfish here. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Or they need they probably need to be in contact with the thing to open a open a hole. Okay, let's try this one over here. I don't know if that one's floating high above. Any of you uh wanna wanna open a hole in the core for me? Be nice. No? Okay. Let's see. Well, let's pull up our thing. We'll see whereabouts the quantum bit is. Oh, it's all the way up there. That's above the current. Interesting. Okay, well, that'll be something to invest in in a bit. Uh, yeah, we can try to launch a scout at it, huh? But you. Oh! Bzz. <laughs> It got berserped, uh... Oh, maybe I land on top of it to force it down? Because it doesn't look like the, the head of it's, uh... Electrified, you know? Oops! <laughs> nope, it is still electrified. <laughs> okay. Alright, alright. Still electrified. It didn't look like it was Berserpa Zap in there. Worth a try, though. Okay. Okay, yeah, because it looks like there's a spot. Oh, that is the spot of the dude there. Alright, let's try. Oh, maybe that deactivates it temporarily, so I can do this. Oh! Hmm. Just reactivates. Do I have to continuously? No. Hmm. Oops. Oh, I see the little red marks there when stuff touches it. Z hmm. Okay. Well. Alright, let's take a quick fly about here. Maybe there's something else. Maybe a special jellyfish that I'm not seeing here. One kind of off on its own. Something different to it, just like the cyclones, perhaps? Hmm. See, looks like that one's in contact with the surface. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh, it's going through. Maybe I follow, follow it in, follow it down and in. 
Oh, right. I don't have my, uh, I don't have my landing camera because I got zippy zapped. Whoop! <laughs> uh oh. I think reactor damage is real bad, isn't it? Because that'll blow up. That'll blow up real bad. Uh, okay. Repair reactor. Well, repair electrical first, I guess. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I guess once the reactor's damaged, that's probably it. Uh, it's probably super toast, and I'm surprised that didn't take me with it. Okay, so my ship is no longer in operation. Um, hmm. That's a problem. <laughs> okay, so now I'm curious then. I imagine if I try to just go in myself, I'm gonna get zippy zapped on out and probably toasted, right? Let's give it a try anyways. Z yep, okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay, that's fine. As long as we learn something, that's fine. That's okay. Twas not a loop in vain. Unfortunately, I didn't get to investigate the quantum signal while we were there, but we can do this next time. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Well, now that we know that the the little counterclockwise cyclone is pretty easy to spot, um, there was a very obvious allusion to the jellyfish being like electrical insulators, right? So. Let's follow that up. Let's follow that up real quick. So we know how to get there. Uh, okay. Autopilot's gonna take me into the sun again. Great, thanks. So probably the easiest way to get there, to get to the jellyfish, would be to get to Feldspar, right? And for that, we can just uh, put a dot on the map, right? Heck, why don't we do that? We'll let the autopilot do its thing, and then we will put a dot on the map for Feldspar. Uh, ocean depths, yeah, good. And something. Uh, Esker, Lunar Lookout, Rebex, Lunar Observatory, blah, 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 Ocean Depths, Frozen Jellyfish, here. Oh, we can just mark that, too. That'll work. Alright. Follow the signal for the Frozen Jellyfish. Should be pretty easy, huh? Um, if I recall correctly, I think it was just this one up here. Was the next one we follow, yeah. Essentially, it's probably just going to lead us to Feldspar's camp, anyways. Alright, so now... Well, I kind of... It's open if we can do that, but alright. Uh, maybe we'll try to look for Feldspar first, anyways. That's, uh, that's a bad one. I guess I'll have to go into their nest to kind of get out of here. That's because that's the only other seed bit we've got, right? So let's get a real good head of steam so we can float past relatively quickly. All right, full blast. 
All right. Unless it kind of cuts my velocity to one consistent one regardless, right? Excuse me, sir. Sorry. Uh, there. Let's go in there. <laughs> Get the fuck out of there. Oh, excuse me. Alright, I have no idea where I ended up now. Okay, we ended up outside again. Alright, let's try it again. <laughs> time. Alright, excuse me, sir. I got no truck with you, alright? Just let me by. Thank you. Oh, alright, we'll go around this way. <laughs> oh, mean some bitch. Alright. Ah. I'm kind of annoyed that the jellyfish marker doesn't appear Oop. when we get inside one of these seats. That annoys me, but that's alright. And that should be the corpse of the dude, right? And then we're to Feldspar. Okay, uh, let's do a, a quick landing for repairs. <laughs> for repairs and, uh, and supplies and all that good stuff. Uh, or I'll just, you know, pop a squat here. That works, too. There. Okay, no landing gear for sure, right? Landing gear and I think the camera? And then the fuel tank was also kind of busted. Where was that? Right there. And the upper hull. That's right. Okay, that's fine. Uh, all right, now we can go pursue the jellyfish thing. Let's see if it now gives us like an option. Oh yeah, carve it up or whatever. Or, actually, while we're here, let's um, talk to Feldspar quickly. Because maybe, maybe he'll be like, Oh, yeah, you gotta, you can do this to get the jellyfish, and blah, blah, blah. Alright. Hey, Feldspar. Um. Yes, English fish. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Um. I found something. I found the frozen jellyfish. This is like the structural integrity in the, the camp, in the shelter, the very blah 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 blah. Yeah, okay, okay, that's that's it. That's it, huh? You're not gonna tell me how to use it? Okay, very good. Fine, I'll figure it out. Okay. Um. So where's his ship zippy zapping now? Over there. There. Excuse me quickly here. 
Okay, and then we can kind of just set in here. Since eventually it gets too narrow for the ship anyway. And I guess Feldspar earlier didn't say, like, this was the direct path to the core of, of Giant's Deep, but it would help or something, right? So, it's a very oblique way to go about it, telling us this is important, but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. It wouldn't be no fun if he told us exactly the steps to use. Okay, so what can we do... Or, alternatively, do we need to kind of fly our ship here into the outside? Um, do not eat it. You <clears throat> for the insulation from electricity. Do not eat. Okay, that's fine. How make work? <laughs> it feels like that's the thing. Although it is pretty... Pretty frozen in here. Like I very much doubt we'll uh, be able to chunk it out of this ice, regardless of if we even were able to get the ship here. Hmm. Alternatively, maybe we go to a live jellyfish. We get zapped once in the ship, disables our electricals, and then we just kind of hang out with it until it goes in. That might be the way to do it. Yeah, because there's no, like, here, interact with this, pick this up, you know, take a chunk of jellyfish with you type thing. So, all right, that's that's probably not the thing anyway. Um, all right. Worth investigating. Now we need to get the back out of here. <laughs> okay, now how... How leave? <laughs> How leave? I suppose the would have been behooved me to leave a scout probe somewhere where I could navigate my way away here, but worst comes to worst, we reset the loop and, and go back. That's fine. be what I do. So I think once we're into the interior here, that's it. There's no way out. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Preset the loop, give us the full 20-some minutes to, to explore and do whatever. <clears throat> Some jellyfish off our map there. Let's go instead to Fancy. Did 
giant's deep always have a moon? Oh, that's the quantum moon, isn't it? It sure is. Oh, wow. Lucky. Uh, we can't do anything with it, though, can we? Because every time we try to land, or we try, we fly right through it. That was the deal, right? <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay. Which one he is is now counterclockwise. You over there. Yeah, forward, forward in. There we go. Down we go. Okay, let's try this theory now. I'm gonna go get zapped intentionally, right? Zip zap. Z and then we are going to just. Oh no! Never mind. That's right. Because getting zapped twice uh, uh, muffs the reactor, and then it blows up, and then we're we're toast, right? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I have to think about that a little bit more, I think. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Well, let's go back there and just look around instead of immediately shoving our face into a into a jellyfish there. stuff at the vessel we can learn about, yada yada. Oh, right. Oh, right. Okay, this is the common stuff, right? Lone Stavey had to keep the shuttle warm, the other two explored the interloper. I lost contact with the other two after they descended below its surface, which we have yet to figure out how to do that. Um, there's more in the vessel anyways. There's a whole bunch of stuff up here. Oh, right, this is all the quantum signal stuff. Giant's Deep. Uh, Timber Hearth. Uh, right, we still haven't found the lake bed cave on, uh, uh, Ember Twin. Right, that was the one we were trying to track down. We couldn't find an entrance. Um, unknown six location for the quantum moon. Interior of Ash Twin. There's apparently more in the Sunless City, which I thought I had done a pretty thorough job about, but apparently not. Okay, actually, let's keep that marked for now.
there. Counter one's always kind of amongst the group here. Okay. Let's just observe. Just observe for now and see what we can see. Because there was a time eventually when they go down into the interior, right? I'm thinking maybe I just very carefully follow them down without touching them because that's zip zap. I already, I already tried firing a scout probe at the top, right? Yep. Z Z Z Z okay. Yeah, so that, that don't do nothing. I wonder if I should just hang out with one until it's ready to go down there. Scope out a nice spot. Yeah, looks like it's about ready. Let's uh, position ourselves above it. Very gently, without touching. <laughs> okay, no. Hmm. Shoot. Check out the other ones then. Maybe again, like I was speculating earlier, there's a special one or something. There might be a dead spot on the electrical shell itself here, too. Alright, see there? There it goes down in, right? Maybe there's just a very brief time. No. <laughs> hmm, okay. Maybe it's a timing thing. Oopsie. I'm thinking of a timing thing that maybe there's a very brief window where we can kind of slip in there, but maybe not. Hmm. Seems to be pretty, pretty impenetrable. No gaps, no cracks. Following the jellyfish in doesn't work. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here for now. Um, we do have that quantum signal. We can investigate here, right? Somewhere above the current. Was it somewhere above the current? Was it inside the giant cyclone, maybe? Because if that's true, maybe we gotta kind of pop into the eye of the sucker, huh? That would be interesting. Whoa, whoa we are, whoa, we are real, wow, okay. Why did we suddenly just 
break fucking atmosphere there. All right. actually inside the thing. Oh yeah, we just somehow managed. <laughs> okay. We did it, sort of. Alright. It's up, okay, it's up above there. Okay, there's a path up, up and around. later. Excuse me. Alright, what do we got here? Along well, this place, Tower shares with all the ask the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. Well, it won't be our first one, I don't think, but it will probably be good info to have regardless. place without friends however these are th these are lessons to learn for yourself wow okay sure guess they don't rent out this place for uh weddings or birthday parties or something uh okay i mean clearly jump in uh, the giant murder hole there hmm all right time we go Seek the Wandering Arch. Hmm. Yes. I believe I shall. Ah. Everybody's too strong here. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> okay. Observing a quantum object, observing an image of a quantum object. These are the same. Yeah, okay. Pull some Schrodinger stuff on me here. Not known until it's observed. my way up there, I guess. Mm. 
It's not just kind of keep pointed at it. I actually have to be seeing it, huh? changed yeah I noticed that it did a thing there okay well is it making like a little yeah it's making a little counterclockwise movement here next time I look away it'll be over to the left don't <laughs> you little bitch <laughs> hmm okay say again? Yeah, observing the blah 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 is the same as blah blah blah. Wait, it's this... Oh! The tree moved too. Stop that. <laughs> yeah, okay, the pedestal's moving. Ah! Stop! Ah, this is some anti-chamber bullshit here. I don't like it. As soon as I lose absolute sight of it, it goes away. Which means I turn right here. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> hmm. Get photographed, idiot! Stay there! Aha! <laughs> Alright. Got it. <laughs> Fucking got it. Oh! Jeez. Arch and the crystal do not naturally meet. Good advice. Do not naturally meet. Eh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. I, all right, I'm starting to get it. Oh, and it disappeared. Shit, I should have taken a new photo once they lined up. There we go. Flip! Now it will stay there forever. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so then that tells me that the quantum moon... Jeez. Freaks me out whenever it appears in my periphery. The quantum moon will stick around if I take a photo of it. <clears throat> Which is interesting. 
It's the last one, but we made it harder. <laughs> Alright, we'll see about that. Uh, uh, yeah, I see what they're sort of doing here. Oh, but I don't. Okay, I get it. I don't want to. I don't want the bottom one in the in the photo there, cause I want it to. Yeah. I want to follow it up, right? Or not? Oh, boy, that's gonna be tough. Um. You know what? No, let's not photo it. Cause I want it to be like, yeah. Temporarily. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, oh, stop. <laughs> I need uh, that one to be out of frame so it goes closer. Oh my God! Wow. And then it just disappears immediately. <clears throat> uh. Okay. Because then I want them to both be in thing, right? And then that one disappears, and then I can just kind of. Very gently sidestep my way up. And just to be sure, we're gonna make sure that motherfucker stays. <laughs> hey, we did it! Oh, good thing this was up here to meet us. My goodness. Okay, so photographs make the thing stick around. <clears throat> And the quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Our curiosity goes on your journey. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and the path guides those who will follow later. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Well, that's a very intriguing way to inform us about this thing. What a what an interesting little puzzly puzzle to to give us here. Was not expecting something like that, but that's that's cool. I like that. It's a good way to do it. Very in universe. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so what does that what does that tell us? What does that unlock for us? Uh well, that means our, our loop is about at its end. But, <clears throat> with the remaining couple minutes we got left, I suppose, let's go find... Uh, let's go back under the current. Maybe there's something I missed there. Whee! Um, I doubt it, but maybe there's something I missed there. Perhaps something obvious. Or this could be unrelated to the whole quantum business, right? Okay, something coming through the surface there. Can we quickly fly through? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> That'll take a little bit more consideration. But, now... Oh! Whoa! Okay, I was too close to the jellyfish still. <laughs> ah, well. Wanted a reset anyways, to be honest. Um, okay, so... Hmm... Let's head back to Brittle Hollow. Because the Tower of Quantum Knowledge now might be assailable. Hmm. Let's try to fly there. 
Let's try to fly the, the, the ship up the tower first. Because I'm curious about that. It's probably not the way to do it, but I'm curious about it regardless. So that'll be brittle hollow, yeah. Uh, so that will be... Uh, there we go. Tower of Quantum Trials, blah blah blah. Uh, Tower of Quantum Knowledge will be... Brittle Hollow, which is not Ash Twin, which is... Sort of this stuff. Not Esker, not the Frozen Jellyfish, not the Radio Tower, Gravity can. that's uh, the Comet, uh, Hanging City, sort of, sort of related, Black Hole Forge, yeah, sort of related, uh, Stage of Island, White Hole Station, Northern Glacier, is there not an entry for the Quantum Tower, probably, or the Tower of Quantum Knowledge or whatever, there wasn't. Nuts. Yeah, we could track down the quantum moon as well, now that we know the secret. Uh, but let's close things first, right? Close things first. So there's the... Actually, this is the gravity cannon on Brittle Hollow. I... I think I forgot something like this existed here. Alright, so, now, Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Where within this crust is it? Is it that? No, that's Gravity Cannon. Uh, there? Nope, it's Black Hole Forge. I think it's up here. Right? E uh, no. <laughs> no, actually, it is not. Um... Uh, excuse me. Um, it's over there. It's over there. Yeah, it's all busted and shit. That's right. Um, I think I can maneuver my butt. Ooh, coming in a little hot there. Uh, I can maneuver my butt up here. There we go. And then a little higher. Uh, oh, wait. No, that's not the quantum power. That's the, whatever. Um, shit, where was it now? Uh, fuck. Alright, let's maneuver our way around there. Um, it's not that. No, I... Where did I follow that around before? Fuck! I wish they popped up the little, uh... Oh, here, here. Here it is. Oh, no, is it too narrow to fly my ship through there? Probably. Oh, you bastards! <laughs> Yeah, okay, I, that, you know, that, that tracks. That fucking tracks. Um, that I wouldn't be able to do it this way. That would be silly. Okay. Hmm. Well, although that piece just kind of fell away there. Nice, alright. Uh, no, that still didn't tear a bit away that we can use it. Okay, well, we may as well just go whoop! And then, um... Alright, quantum... Fluctuations. Where is this quantum moon hanging out now? Can I fly back into the white hole? Or is it just gonna be like, nope, fuck you? No, okay. It just said no, fuck me. Alright. Um, alright. Where is the quantum moon? Island shard that we just discovered. Tower shard. Cave shard. Dark bramble. Sometimes it's around uh, Giant's Deep, right? 
but only sometimes. Okay, there's a lot of them over here. Let's fly towards one or more of them. Game shard. Uh, looks like there's more than one on Timber Hearth. That's interesting. Our shard. I guess we just kind of got lucky in uh, in eyeballing it. Okay, island shard, cave shard, unknown, unknown, unknown. Uh, tower shard. Fucking quantum moon! Show up, coward! There it is. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, there it is. Okay. Oh, it's way far away. That's fine. Just keep it in sort of sight, I guess. Uh, can we... Of course, on the opposite side of the... Damn solar system. Oh. Oh crap, did I did briefly pulling that up uh make me look away from it? I think it did. Oh, I should have just... Oh, no. Wait, is that it? No, that's Adel Rock. Damn. Fuck. Damn. Oh, no, wait. That's it. That's it there. Yeah, I ain't letting you out of my sight, you son bitch. Even though we <laughs> just slung shot right past it. Go. <laughs> All right. I see it, though. Like, that's the important bit. Oh, my God. Wow. Moving like we had a purpose. A timber hearth. Uh, that maybe? Shit. Now I lost track of it again. Oh, wait, there it is. Somewhere. Uh. No. Over there. Over there somewhere. Is that it? That might be it. That's it right there. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh. Uh. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay. All right. We're fine. Get in orbit. Okay. Ding a ding. Uh. Retrieve scout. Launch. Bonk, 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 bonk. That's a pretty good picture, huh? Okay. Now, as long as we're looking at it. In some capacity, right? Whee! Um. Oh. Oh, we're, we're here? We're here. We're here! <laughs> we did it! We landed on the quantum moon. Okay, let's keep that picture handy. I, well, I guess we're on the... There's no way we're not looking at it, right? When we're on the moon. But I suppose just in case. There we go. Let's take a, a picture. <laughs> uh, picture mode. There we go. Let's just not put the thing away. Oh, 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 jeez. That tree's all in the middle of our ship there. Stop it. Stop it. Ah, it's probably fine. Um, okay. Oh, I see. I see what it's doing here. So we're at, we're around Timberhearth now. Um, when it moves away from Dark Bramble, then it's near the eye of the universe. That's the bit I'm seeing here. 
Can we just forcibly warp this, maybe? Bloop! Oh, they just turned on the lights. Hmm. Okay. Call the rule of quantum imaging. Call the rule of quantum entanglement. Call the rule of the sixth location. Fuck. I know about the sixth location in quantum imaging. What about quantum uh, entanglement? We didn't learn about that. Oh, it's telling us where to learn about that. Uh, what is that one? I don't know what that one is. Hmm. Uh. Shit. <laughs> uh, what is that a picture of? That sort of looks like the tail end of the comet. But not really. I mean, it's ice and shit, but that could be... That could be a uh, dark bramble, too. This looks like we might have to explore the other uh, quantum bits first to, to get what they're fucking telling us. Which, hey, you know what? I was going to do that anyways, eventually. So, uh, this gives us a little nudge. Let's see if there's anything else around here. No, just a quantum-ass clearing. Oh, looks like that tree really did a number on the ship here. What did it, what did it do? Autopilot? Nah, whatever. Cockpit? Okay, that's marginally more important. Here's something else spark-a-doodling there. Thrusters are important. Hull's kind of important, I guess. Alright, is that it? I think that's it. Oh, no, something else is still busted. Some bits of the hull are still kind of fucked up from that quantum tree really doing a number here. Yeah, right there. Okay. Is that it? Just the one bit? No, we're still. Whoa, whoa, jeez. Tree's revenge. Alright, um. There was another bit here. Well, which bit was all busted? This one here. There it is. Okay, um, I guess the other quantum bits is, like, something I can do. It's something I'm aware of. Let's track the rest of those sons of bitches down. Um, there was... Oh, I don't want, oh, I don't want, don't want to in engage closely with Timber Hearth, though. Excuse me. Uh, alright. Let's take a quick sweep around. Oh, what? All right, moon's over there. Tower shard, island shard. Uh, quantum moon. No, 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 no. Where was the unknown ones? Well, I think they're still like marked as unknown on the computer. Quantum shrine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tower of Quantum Trials, which we just did. Tower of Quantum Knowledge, which we haven't done. Uh, oh, that might be the, the other thing, huh? Timber Hearth. Uh, Ember Twin. Yeah, Timber Hearth and Ember Twin, huh? Balls. Okay, well, Timber Hearth, we're right here. Right? I think. Oh, no, that's Quantum Moon. <laughs> Uh, right, where the fuck's Timber Hearth? Oh, we just turn a little bit more. There it is. Alright. Let's be a little careful here. Okay, 400 meters over a yay. Down here. Oh, this looks like an unexplored area. Sort of, I guess. Yeah, close enough. I don't know how we're doing on this loop's time. That's 
probably fine. Okay, there's that. Blah, blah, blah. Grove shard. Okay. Um. Is this something? Is this a teachable moment? Across old bark, it's always dark, quiet shade in the ancient glade. Uh... C -c cool? Cool. I... Whoa! Uh-huh. I see. Oh. I bet it's just a tree that's moving. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I see. Geyser appears to be moving as well. Uh. Uh. Oh, I see. Oh, wait. Did we already. Why not? Where the fuck are we? <laughs> I guess we haven't seen this yet. Uh, I know we were in some underwater stuffs before, but. Maybe not this particular one. Uh, okay. Uh, ooh. Aha! That symbol looks familiar. Uh, mining site 2A wouldn't be safe for the native life rolling on some of the cave pools, so I'll have to mine one of the other sites. Uh, a few other cave sites are like crossing. What about 2B? Uh, see, so we'll move them over to work there. It's safe, so we we'll continue to monitor our activity in its effect, blah blah blah. New life, the species semi aquatic. Oh, wait, no, we've already read this, haven't we? Yeah. So, wait, what was the deal? Oh, no, that's not the. Okay, that's not the symbol I was expecting to see. Oh, I should have taken a picture of it. Ah! That's. A reference back to what it was, but. Okay, um. Cool, I guess. Cool, I guess. Yeah, because this was the bridge thing. Which, you know, whatever, I guess. Not particularly useful. And now I'm all the way on the pretty much opposite side of the planet. Good thing it's only like four or five kilometers wide. And zero grav once you get like a couple hundred meters above the surface. <laughs> All right, there we are. How's the sun looking? Oh, the sun's looking a little explodey. A few minutes. Oops. I'll put away the picture, right? Huh. Okay. So, oh no. I thought that I thought the picture would freeze it in place like it wouldn't be erupting anymore. That would have been an interesting play. But okay. I mean, this might this just take us down to somewhere else. No, this looks like it just, it's the same, same stuff. That leads out. Um, do both of these lead out? No, this one leads in, doesn't it? 
Yeah. Oh, oh, it, uh, oh no, it's over there. Okay. So now if I go back up, will this lead to somewhere else? Where the, whoa, where am I? Oh, it's just a different spot of the thing. Never mind. Sif, oh, ouch. If it had gone to somewhere else entirely, that would have been interesting. But no such luck. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if one of the other shards that we mapped out previously has something else that that it can tell us or we could go back to the um lake bed on ember twin try to find that one that might be the play here there's that one and blah 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 whatever uh, it's gone oh there it is okay um but yeah this area seems nondescript and not particularly teachy. Unless there's a riddle in this little poem, which, if there is, like, ugh. I don't know if I'm in any... Oh, wait, this is a different order now, actually. Uh... Uh, okay, yeah, that's definitely, those four lines are in a different order now. Well, oh, the sun's about to blow up anyways. So right, left, left, right, yeah. It's going by the shape of the signs, really, instead of the lines themselves. Probably easier to track. Oh, but except two of them are left and two of them are right. Well, shit. <laughs> That's, uh... Uh... Shit, this might actually be something, then. Oh no, why is this making me like exercise the l the language part of my brain? I'm no good at language. <laughs> Unless it's dirty language, I'm real good at dirty language. Uh, one of these is probably the correct position of it, right? The correct position and correct reading. I just wouldn't be able to say which one. Either way, I'm about to be vapor. Oh wait, that that time it kind of rearranged the order without moving the tree, I think. Yeah, oh, that's weird. All right. Hmm. Okay, I think Ember Twin. Ember Twin is the where is the place to be now. We'll find uh, whatever that quantum signal is. Try to hit the uh, lake bed cave before it gets covered over in sand. Hmm. Although we tried that much earlier, like three sessions ago, but we couldn't figure it out. But now that we are armed with newish knowledge, Maybe we'll figure it out this time. Alright. Let's see. Oh. Check computer. Oh, just kind of figured it out. Found a poem. Strange rock shard. Then this girl that moves when I'm not watching. This might be one of, like, the first ones they expected me to find since it's, you know, on home planet, you know? But, uh... 
did not do that. All right, quantum caves. A uh, strange wandering rock that appeared in multiple caves on Ember Twin's northern hemisphere. And a strange rock shard that moves when I'm not watching. It emits a signal on the quantum fluctuations frequency. There's more to explore. And then the lake bed cave. Uh, dry lake bed at Ember Twin's north pole. North pole. Ember Twin North Pole. Okay. Twin gonna intercept us there? Nope, not quite. It'll move away. Alright, North Pole, which I believe is the red indicator, right? Uh, which is. Jeez. Uh, I'm gonna guess this side of the planet. Eh? Eh? I was near um, Chert's camp, right? Yeah. Dry Lake Bed. Shirts camp, uh, which is up there, uh, here-ish, here-ish, uh, all right, all right, let's just sit down right here, see the rest of the way on foot. Yeah, because it was, oh, wait, a cave shard. So we already, hmm, that's interesting, so we've already done, we've already identified the cave shard, apparently. It's there, but I just haven't figured out how to get back there. Uh, oh, well, we're actually at the exact opposite kind of where I wanted to be anyways. I wanted to be all the way up there, past the gravity cannon. Alright, right about over here. Closer. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's that's Church Camp up there. Duh. I mean, something something cave at the lake bed, right? Oof. Ouch. So, I guess just keep keep rolling through before it, uh, comes in assailable, right? Crap, this might be a race against time that I'm gonna can lose. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a, I'm a die here. I'm a die here. <laughs> Fuck. Ah, oh, that's a bad way to go. Oh, gross! It got like really wet sounding at the end. Ugh. Okay, so one, I was pointed at the wrong spot. Two, I have to find Church Camp. Church Camp is the indicator. Now it's on the opposite side of the planet. Just gonna pick a direction and hope I get the right one. It's kind of, I think, closer-ish to the sun, right? Yeah, right over there. Yeah, Ash Twins close enough.
Because that's what it was, right? It was the lake bed camp of whatever, right? Here. Cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at Ember Twins North Pole. Multiple caves in Ember Twins Northern Hemisphere. Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, so there's Church Camp. Northish pole, right? Ooh, ooh, coming in hot. Uh Yeah, I mean I guess we just kinda land here. Hey, what's the worst that's gonna happen? The sand will come in and raise up my ship? Who cares? Ooh, ooh, wow. Really headed down. Okay. Let's try this now. to do not go back towards the scout. I think I got turned around. That was my deal last time. Okay, so not right. Left. Uh, can we not get through through here? I kind of want to... I want to get through to that. No, I can... Well, I just don't. Cannot launch it through that way? Okay, let's try to get over that way. I think this just takes me back up and out, but is there another entrance perhaps? Gets me over on that side? No, because this takes me up and out. I don't want to go up and out. I want to go down. Mm. Shit. This is pretty obviously a fucking entrance into the cave, right? So don't come back here. Go right, because that's a dead fucking end. Uh, that's a dead end, too. It's also a dead end. Those two are dead ends. Okay, slightly around here. Okay. Uh, ooh, alright. Twist the boots there. Okay, yeah, this is the sandfall I had seen earlier. Now we're kind of up and in, aren't we? Uh, I think. Really hard to say. Okay. And they want us to double back. Still in the same cave system, yeah. Oh, there's cacti and shit. Alright, so well definitely not that way then. Except there is another Oh, that one's Oh! Oh the Oh no, we're doing Quantum Cactus is -is -is -is. Oh no! <laughs> uh Okay. Oh, all right. We've got a got a few things here now. Oh no! Oh, bodies and shit though. That's no good. Uh, here, like we call this is where he's he went. Is this is where we were when he vanished? He's been missing for two days now. Uh, what happened? Uh, you're examining different rocks. He's standing on the largest one. A wandering rock. I was taking notes and then my lantern died. Oh, you stand on the thing. When I lit it again, I the rock were both gone. Strange wandering rock friend is here, though Coleus is. <laughs> uh, I observed this unusual looking rock shard, several smaller rocks, and at least two other caverns. I'm unsure if this is relevant. Oh, quant 
quantum entanglement. So as long as... Aha. Uh -huh. As long as we are in contact with the thing, right? Oh, no. Turn on lights, please. Thank you. In contact with it. Um, turn... Right. Uh, photo, please. Photograph. And then, uh, turn lights out. And then turn thing out. And we have warped. How very interesting. Okay. So now we are somewhere else. Somewhere else entirely. Okay. Uh, the rock took me with it to a new location. Uh, also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or an exit. Also the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. It's returned. Uh, I wonder if I must become quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. Seems the clearest explanation I found is that the rock can bring me here. It can also carry me out. Um, I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings. I mean, you must be in complete darkness. Okay. I'm going to enter here to see this. And anyway, the theory is that when conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer, the being can become entangled with that quantum object and they move together. Interesting. Okay, well, there's the rule of quantum entanglement, I suppose, you yeah? know? How, how intriguing. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, that cactus wasn't there before. Ha 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 He's missing, he vanished from the blah blah blah, and we're not able to find any trace of him. I don't know what the fuck happened. Because I'm a dummy who doesn't understand the quantum principles or whatever. Uh, help us recover coleus, uh huh. Uh, are there any color and textures? Identicals in the same rock fragment. Um, Lake Bed Cave, yeah, which we figured out now. Uh, I just went back to the Lake Bed Cave and observed this rock again. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it isn't. That means the rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious, how very curious. Very curious, in fact. Oh, oh, it disappeared because I wasn't looking at it briefly when I jet packed up. Good job. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's stay in sight. And then blip, 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 blip. That's kind of cool. I like that. Hmm. All right. All right. Okay. Now, <laughs> how to fucking apply it to the quantum moon? Because that shit's all lit up when we land on it, right? Oh, there's our ship. That's nice. Very convenient. Um, hmm. All right. Okay. Well, that's something to think about. Um, here. Uh, is this? No, this isn't Esker. Who is this? Oh, whoever it is, I'm going to go talk to him. Since we're here and all. They're like, hey, we figured something out. We did a quantum learn. Chert, right. Um, I have a question for you. Uh, I found something. Uh, I found your notes. Uh, we probably already knew that, right? Blah, 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 fifth planet, blah, 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 dark bramble, blah, 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 yeah, okay. Uh, question, found something. Found modern no my transition saying the universe is dying. Uh, sure. I mean, modern-ish. Uh, currently, right now, if that's true, because there's so many signs, supernova over there, but blah, 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 blah. Uh, there's a look over my charts. I mean, yeah, sure. Oh, nuts. We, uh, kind of torpedoed that entire dialogue now. Yeah. Oh, that's on, on fire. Roast a nice marshmallow. I suppose the other option is to just kind of fucking doze off until the sun goes supernova and then talk to Chert, right? Like, that's the easy way to get the alternate dialogue. I mean, how far is the sun from supernova right now? Pretty far. Pretty far. And we've learned what we need to learn here, I think.
Although, if it doesn't accelerate from here, that's kind of... We dozed off for two whole minutes. Wow. <laughs> Honestly, I wish I could doze off that quickly. That'd be great. That would be super good. Um, okay, well, we've got some time left in the run, at least. In the loop. Let's see what that filled in on yield computer. Okay, we learned about... Um, quantum entanglement. And... We learned about quantum imaging that allowed us to land on the quantum moon. Uh, so how do we apply that to travel with the quantum moon to the sixth location? That's that's the thing. I think that's the, the deal. The sixth location is near the um, eye of the universe, right? At least that's what I'm hypothesizing presently. There's the quantum moon. Alright, so... Uh, okay, scout. Picture of quantum moon. That's good enough. All right, board autopilot going for a landing. Now that we have learned, oh, or not? Wait, what happened to our picture? I didn't tell it to put away the picture. Where was it? Oh, but now it's gone. Now that shit's gone. And do we not have a, a a map marker for it any either? Shit, no, we don't. All right, well, it disappeared. <laughs> okay, well, instead... Oh, I think it's over there. There it is, yeah. Come here, you. Oh, it's gonna disappear behind the sun. But we still got a lock on it. So that's good enough, I guess. Slippery bastard. Alright, let's do that. Let's do, uh, retrieve, photo mode, take picture. Where is it aligning our... Where is it aligning our flight trajectory too? There. There. Like, why is it taking forever and a day? There we go. Alright. Accelerate. Should be safe now. Okay. Take snap shot. All right, coming in. Get a nice, centered, reasonably large snapshot. There we go. Okay. Oh, except uh, there. Oh no 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 no! Uh oh uh oh oh oh! We're going in the sun. Oh, we're going in the sun. No, Quantum Moon, come back! Oh, that's why it glows sometimes. That's interesting. I didn't realize, uh... That's why it glowed. Okay, alright. We've got a picture. It's gonna be fine. Whee! Oh, bonk! <laughs> alright. That was a little bit closer than I thought. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, buckle. We're looking at it because we're landed on it, right? Okay. I just need the tower to be back here, right? Or. I'm saying it needs to be dark, right? Oh, hey, the, the probe! The little. the Nomai shuttle! Huh. What's this doing here? Do we know about this? Staying for the first time on the quantum moon. No, this is new shit. Uh, my shuttle's landed on the moon's south pole. I make the remainder of my journey on foot. Uh, we don't know why quantum moon always welcomes visitors to the south pole. It's just that this is true. Um, okay. Huh. Uh, oh! Oh! Sugar! Shit! No! Ah, uh, balls! I, uh, I pulled it back to... Uh, where are we now? Oh, no! Oh, fuck! 
Oh, I'm back at, uh, I guess, Ember Twin? Or whatever spot had the, the, the gravity cannon that launched the thing? Oh, I should have not mucked with the control panel here. Fuck. Oh, well, it's not like we can't do it again. Ooh, out we go. Oh, Brittle Hollow, I guess. Brittle Hollow, huh? Shit! Damn. So, now wait, where's my ship, though? Is it... Oh, we don't have a map marker for it, no. <laughs> Although, that makes me wonder if I could just slam a, a scout probe on the surface and track it that way. Hmm. Well, either way, I think I done fucked up on this loop. Um, so we'll just go ahead and be like, nah, meditate until next one. Hmm. Damn. <laughs> but okay, well, we've learned that we always land at the South Pole, right? But then we can probably fly about a little bit once we like get in the atmosphere without worrying about it uh, getting out of our way or something uh, okay so I'm not gonna play out this full loop here I'm just kind of curious what that now filled in on yield computer if anything and then we'll pick this up next time uh, computer. Computer. Yep. Figured out about the shuttle. Oh, there's a new new gravity cannon. Um. What do you mean there's more to explore here? That's. No, that's the Brittle Hollow one, isn't it? What do you mean there's more to explore there? We've been there. Right? Hmm. Maybe not. Uh, recall the rule of six locations is described next to a mur Oh, it, it tells us what those are. Mural of a tower hanging above a black hole. Oh. Uh, that's Brittle Hollow. That's the tower of quantum what whatever, right? Quantum knowledge, I guess? Okay. That's all well and good, however... Uh, hmm... Hmm. Well, okay. Well, I guess we accidentally put another mark on our... fucking note cards and string-ass corkboard here. Um... Hmm. Well, okay. That's something to keep in mind, I suppose. Uh, but we're gonna call it, uh, right there. Oh, it's two hours. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. Um... So we'll call it there for tonight. Next stream will be tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. CDT. It'll be Shmup Book Club. So, um... I never remember the monthly. Uh, our type Leo uh, for month of May. Also, uh, Super Hydra and Radiant Silver Gun. All on tap for tomorrow. We'll pick one of those. Friday, Saturday, we're off. And then Sunday, 7 p.m. CDT will be Long Play. So Noita, we've got an active run to finish up. And then probably a few more to, to try and fail to get started. Um, but then next Monday, 7 p.m. CDT, we'll be back here with more Outer Wilds. Trying to wrap up this mystery. Boy, howdy, it just keeps getting deeper and deeper. All right, but that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.